Hey guys, this is Mr. Baldwin coming to you live from the interweb. Uh, today we're going to be covering a little bit about metric system and measurement. So make sure you guys have something that you can take some notes on. And yeah, let's get ready to do this thing. Remember, if at any point you're not clear on what I'm saying, hit pause and then rewind. Okay, You can watch this a couple times over and over again as long as it takes you to get the material. So first, our objectives. You guys are going to be able to identify the proper tool to make scientific measurements. Then you guys are going to be able to identify the proper unit used to make scientific measurements. Okay, These are all things you guys have done before. We're just kind of putting some new terminology for you to use. So let's get started. First, we're going to talk about mass. Okay, Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Okay, And remember, matter is just anything that's made of atoms takes up space. I like to think about it as being stuff, the amount of stuff in an object. So like me, I don't have a lot of stuff in me, but then say if I eat this great big dinner and I gain a lot of mass, it's because I ate stuff and that's in my body. So I have a lot of stuff inside of me, a lot of mass. When we use science terms, we measure this in grams, okay? And we use a balance. You guys can see a balance right here. A lot of times in class we'll be using the electronic balance, so it's actually pretty straightforward to use. Okay, one thing you guys are going to want to say when you talk about mass is its weight. Okay, I want to get this out of the way early. There's actually a difference between mass and weight. Okay, so weight is actually the response of a mass to the pull of gravity. Okay, the example that we give is if you were on Earth versus if you were on the moon. Okay. You guys have all seen pictures of astronauts bouncing on the surface of the moon, and it appears like they're weightless. Okay. They actually feel lighter because there's not as much gravity, but their mass stays exactly the same. When they go to the moon, they haven't lost any stuff, they haven't lost any matter, they haven't lost any mass, but their weight's gone down. So if you actually take a look at here, this is a picture of somebody on Earth, and say if they weigh a hundred pounds, I know we're not using grams, sorry. If they weigh a hundred pounds on Earth, if they go to Mars, they would actually only weigh 38 pounds. Okay, so they haven't lost any mass, but they've lost a lot of weight. And it's because Mars is much smaller than Earth. Okay. Next thing we're talking about is length. Length is pretty straightforward. It's the distance between two points so from here to here okay and we use meters as our unit okay and we use a meter stick okay it looks something like this okay remember we gotta make sure we're using the side that has meters on it not the side that has inches on it okay we're in science class we're using the metric system we'll also be using rulers just like this one maybe just like this one uh oh if I can pick it up we got all kinds of different ways to measure distance. Okay, another one. This one's kind of tricky is volume. Okay, volume is the amount of space an object takes up. Okay, and we use liters or cubic centimeters. Now this one's kind of tricky. So in math class, you guys know volume as being the length times the width times the height. Okay, that's absolutely a way to get volume. But another way is actually to use one of these. It's called a graduated cylinder. Okay, and it can be used to measure how much space an object takes up. We'll do another video on that one all by itself because that's a little bit tricky. But again, we do it with liters if we're doing it using the graduated cylinder. Or if we're using a ruler, you can actually use this cubic centimeters. Okay, and again, we use a graduated cylinder. And you can also use a ruler to do volume. Volume is kind of a tricky one. Next one, you guys have seen this before, is the temperature. It's the amount of heat an object has. So obviously something on the stove is going to be warmer than something that comes from the freezer. It's because it's got more heat, it's got more energy. And we use degrees Celsius to measure temperature, and we use a thermometer. Sometimes we'll be using electronic thermometers, basically the same thing. Last one we've got is time, straightforward. It's the duration of an event. Okay, so this video is only a few minutes long, that's the duration of the video, how long it took to complete the video. 
So in science class, we'll use the normal ones that we're used to, seconds, minutes, or hours. And we use it during a, we use a stopwatch to measure it. And actually in class, most of you guys have smartphones, so you guys can absolutely use your smartphones in class. I have no problem with that. Okay, checkpoint. Remember, our two learning targets, you had to be able to identify the proper tool to make scientific measurements and the proper unit to use science measurements. Okay, so what I want you guys to do, you'll be asked to do this in class when we get in, is you'll have to be able to fill out a table that looks just like this. So for your mass, remember that's like the amount of space, or sorry, the amount of stuff that an object has. We measure it in grams, and we would use a scale to measure that. So you should be able to match all those different parts for each of the measurements. If you guys have any questions, please, please, please post them down below in the comment section. I can answer your questions if you get them like that, or if you guys see questions that are unanswered, you guys can absolutely answer them yourselves. That's all I have for you guys today. I will see you in class later. Have a good one.